What's up gamers and gamettes? It's your boy Izzy the Gamer here and um, I'm back for an update video today and I have my girlfriend Arshana alongside me because we're ending the GF takeover. Man, what a fun time it's been. It's been pretty great. I've actually been very happy to be alongside of your channel with you. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed the content that we have been putting out together. Well, he's been putting out with me in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely have been enjoying recording it. Um, I know she has, she's been talking all about it. Don't, don't let her fool you in the next videos we come out with. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely love for you guys to kind of sound off in the comments about uh, what you enjoyed the most about the Gaming On My Day Off episodes because there's a lot of uh, different uh, games that we played through. Maybe like sound off about like your favorite one if you had a chance to watch that. If not, it'll be something that's linked down below. I would like to ask you maybe um, what was your favorite game to play through? Ooh, that's a good question. I will say my most memorable game so far has been minecraft surprisingly minecraft that i remember that was a time <laughs> and i think it's just because of how chaotic that was i had no idea what i was doing so i thought that was just fun yeah and that's the video you edited too that is the video i edited mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't, you, I don't know if you guys knew that but oh, yeah. my favorite game overall that we've played is a toss-up between Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Whoa. <laughs> and Overcooked. I did not expect you to say Kenna. <laughs> what did I you did think not I expect you to say Kenna. I thought you were gonna say it takes two. I thought you were gonna be like between it takes two and overcooked. So it takes two was a lot of fun to play, mm -hmm. but story wise, Kenna is better. Yeah, okay, I guess. I feel like Kenna's story was terrible. It was kind of just like... It, it takes two like, stories terrible. To right. So, like, so out of the two terrible, I'd rather have Kenna. <laughs> but I just feel like the gameplay is just more engaging. But I, it's totally your opinion. Like, you're totally valid. I'm just saying. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be something else. I liked the puzzles of It Takes Two. But I liked Kenna gameplay a lot more. I liked the story. I liked the... Well, more than It Takes Two. I don't know, but just thinking about Overcooked, Overcooked is a lot of fun. I think playing it with you makes it more fun. Okay. Honestly, I don't know if I would like it as much if I played it by myself or if no. I played it with another person. Yeah, I don't think that's a game you play by yourself. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. There's so, just certain games like um, you don't play by yourself and there's other games. Yeah. So out of all the games, ones that I would probably play by myself and enjoy would be Kind of Bridge of Spirits. So that could possibly be my favorite one out of all the ones that we've played. Sweet. And it's the only one we've completed, to be honest. Um, <laughs> outside of Overcooked, we, we beat Overcooked. We were just playing the extra trimmings. We had already beat Overcooked like by the time we yeah. played it for you guys. Um, and we were just doing like the extra <laughs> trimmings DLC stuff when we played through on Game on my day off. And you guys can be sure to check that out, too. It'll be yeah. right below. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, wait. Then, Is Kingdom Hearts a part of it? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Oh, well then, I'm sorry. Kingdom Hearts is my favorite one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just completely disregarded Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is definitely my favorite one out of all of them. Out of every single one of them, Kingdom Hearts is my favorite. That's my top. 100, okay. <laughs> I feel like you might just be saying that because you know it's my favorite. No. You know what I'm saying? And so you like, you know, let me know. So look, many reasons you know, why. Let me, look, let me uh, show him <laughs> some love real quick. And I, I, you know, I respect it. You know, no. I respect it. There's so many reasons why I love Kingdom Hearts. Number one, I'm in love with Disney everything. And I also just loved the gameplay overall. I felt like I really gained... A lot of skills as a gamer. Hey, every time she turns <laughs> Kingdom Hearts on, her skills go up about 20%. Yeah. I just I just want you guys to know that like since the last time we've you've seen her play a game, she is so different. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, like the change is astronomical. Um can't wait for you guys to see the new games that we play in the future and um that's the other thing that i wanted to move on to is that like she will not be gone forever you know it is the easy d gamer channel and i don't expect her to 
produce content at the extent that I have to produce content. Honestly, I just kind of want her to have fun and like a kind of fun experience. So the takeover is over. We've been producing a lot of content for you guys. And that content, uh, you guys will start to see soon. But before we move back into some stuff for her, we're just going to get into some normal gaming content for me. I've had a lot of games that, I've, that have been on my back catalog I've been planning to play. And I finally got around to a few of them, so I can't wait to play those with you guys. That'll be the next thing we do. Gaming on my day off is going to change slightly for this final time that we do it this way. Yeah, where we play like a variety of different games. Before I wanted to kind of just give you guys a peek at like different games so you could have an experience, decide whether or not it's something that you want to get into, try before you buy basically, like get to spend an hour with me. I thought that, that was a smooth way of doing it. Um, I'm starting to realize maybe that's not the best way to handle this thing, so. I was always planning to launch a full playthrough series for you guys, um, where you guys will be able to see like my favorite game experiences and things like that if you're interested. And it'll also be a nice way to uh, really stay consistent with the streams because I want to play games for you guys, but I also um, want to be able to archive those games so you guys can see them later. And so we'll be moving on to full game playthroughs very soon after this game and on my day off uh, run that we're doing right now. Should be exciting. That'll be exciting. We have a few games planned. We have a few episodes of that series planned with Arshana as well. So you'll see her return for that. And yeah, that'll be the future way we handle games on the channel. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. That'll lead to longer running gaming series. And hopefully that means that this channel will be more associated with video games. Because <laughs> that's what I want to keep it at. We can move on to the reactions, which is really what a lot of people are here for anyway. I know you guys have been enjoying the reactions. We just recently finished Izzy Reviews GF Reacts to Daredevil. Yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. And um, <laughs> it's so funny. Like... <laughs> Going through this series, you guys do, do not understand the roller coaster that we've been on here at home <laughs> because she thought she hated the first season. And I promise you, like after we we had struggled to release that season for a for a while, I've been trying to like get it released, but we shot a couple episodes in 4K, made it a little difficult to get the videos edited right. I had to actually upgrade my PC in order to do that, but. When I was finally able to do it and get the episodes edited, we could finally <laughs> prove this one wrong. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait for you guys to see that. Oh, gosh. But how, what was your favorite uh, episode of <laughs> Daredevil? My favorite episode of Daredevil was the one that was mostly about Mr. Fisk. It the was, one that was about his childhood? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shadows in the glass. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's yeah. a really good one. There's probably some more that I, I can't really think about right now. If I rewatched it again, it probably would stick out a little bit more. But that one I can really think about. And I think it's just, it's really because I think as you and I have talked a lot about like villains throughout our reactions that we've done mm -hmm. and movies that we've watched, I feel like this is this show has one of the best villains that I've ever seen. That's a fair take. Ever. Yeah. Like, if you came into a squad of nerds and you was like, hey, man, I don't care what nobody say, Kingpin's the best villain. Like, you have you have ground to stand on 100%. Yeah. And I love that. And I think that's why I really love the episode because I'm a big stickler for making villains realistic. Not, I feel like bad people, bad guys are not you know, always the Joker. <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> a lot of times, evil people act just the same as your next door neighbor or as your best friend. So, yeah. and I think I really like how they portray him in this season. Um, and that episode really stuck out to me. 
cool. I'm glad that that's the episode you chose. I think that's my favorite episode too, or at least that was one of my favorite episodes, like back when the series originally came out. And I remember Mike being sold. You know, after I saw that episode, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm a Daredevil fan. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. But like, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad we're taking the journey. You know, I can't wait to um, finish it off. She has no idea what's in store, so just do what you guys have been doing i really appreciate like um everybody that's been keeping it clean no spoilers yeah once again you guys will see her later we'll have um, more movie reactions to do in the future so you guys will see um a lot of those they'll still continue to release on uh this schedule right after gaming on monday off we'll release a movie reaction yeah just be on the lookout for all of that can't wait to get into a few series we have planned for you guys wandavision x-men yeah, and a couple um, other major reactions, man. Harry Potter is the... I, I wanted to give you guys three, so... Those are the three that I plan to do with Arshana. They're going to be exciting. <laughs> and then, of course, like there's a Kenobi reaction coming from me solo. So, can't wait for that uh, for you guys as well. So, I'm definitely sound off in the comments about um, anything that you want to see from us. Any type of movie reactions or video games that you might want to see me play in the future all the way through. Yeah, any questions that you want answered. I'm not sure if you guys know, like, <laughs> what games I'm interested in. Maybe I should do a Q&A one day, but that'll be further in the future when we reach capacity, I guess. <laughs> do you have any other things to say before we bid you farewell? It's been a great pleasure and joy. Keep watching content, keep commenting, sharing, liking. Don't forget his Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget the Patreon. <laughs> Until next time, peace, happy gaming, and I don't know when the next update video will come out, but it'll be here. <laughs>